go. 19 inch. No! God dang it. That's smally. 19 and a quarter, guys. Freaking let's go, boys. Good morning guys and welcome back to Callison Fishing. Today we are fishing a new lake for my Northern uh, League Championship for Topwater Series. So as you guys know, I fish Tri-Cities League uh, all summer long. This championship actually combines our league, Alpena, Gaylord, and I believe Traverse City. This is Northern Michigan Championship and we are on Fletcher's Pond today or also known as Fletcher's Floodwaters. We never fished here before, I didn't pre-fish. Hopefully, uh, we can catch some fish today. There's some big bass in here. See if I can find some grass and whatnot. So wish me luck and we'll see you guys on the water. Alrighty guys, so on the water now, uh, I've been pedaling for a little bit here. Not sure if I found my starting spot, but there's some fish rolling in the surface. It's, it's dead calm out here right now. Just a little bit of ripple. I got some okay weeds here. I know they get thicker closer you get to shore because I was wrapping my prop. Thinking I might want to start here. I've got a big point in front of me, but I've had some bait already come up and jump some little minnows. And a fish just jumped right there. That was probably a carp. As far as rods go right now, six rods, spinner bait, the whopper plopper, sanko, drop shot, uh, chatter bait, and a swim bait. All right, guys, stay tuned. I will turn the big camera, turn that camera on here in about 10 15 minutes all right guys we got two-ish minutes before lines in the target for today is going to be big large mouth there are absolute mondos in here from everything i've seen i guess there's also the chance to catch smallies that right there is what we're starting on starting now threw around a bunch of different baits including the water plopper that didn't get a hit. Here we go. Then I moved to the confidence bait, the wacky rig, and that's when the fish started biting. The bait that I got tight on there. That was a good cast. That was a fish or hung up. Sure to me it looked like we were hung up. That's a fish. We got a pike or a bass. That's a bass. Come here, buddy. He wants to swim under my tail. Fifteen and a half. It's a good first one. Seriously, someone, somebody come up and eat that or hit that. There's a hit. They fight hard up here. I hope this is a better fish. It's fighting harder. Now he's tangling himself up. That's a, that's a big one, guys. Got you. That's a big bass, guys. 17 and a quarter, guys. On your way, bud. Thank you.
course I didn't realize I was hooked. So he's probably got that buried. They are hard fighting fish. Come on, buddy, turn this way. There you are. Come on. Give up. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. That's a slaunch. 19 and a quarter, guys. Look at that. And then just see, I'm pretty sure you clip him back here, but he's missing his rest of his top spine there. I'm pretty sure we clip in the DNR and stuff right here. He's missing that part, but beautiful fish. 19 and a quarter. Thank you, buddy. On your way. That was a hit. He's in the grass. Of course he's in the grass. Why not? You're coming with me, grass. You in there? He's in there. Took the whole grass pile with me too. There we go. Guys, number four, 16 and a half. Somebody eat it. You know I had to catch at least one if they were in here. Shout out to Stites Outdoors, because whenever me and him fish together, we catch these little guys. Rockmas, bye. Seriously. Of course I just got bit out here. Why do you want to go where my lure is, huh? There's one. Come on, girl. This one doesn't look as good as the other ones, but... Yes. That's number five, guys. 16. He's at least 16, so thank you, buddy. Let's go. We got our limit. Now, we got upgrade. Smallest was 15 and change. Running right at us. I couldn't tell how big this one was, guys, when he jumped. But it sure feels great. Can't lose them. You gotta keep keep tension. That's smally. It's a small mouth, guys. Wasn't expecting to see him. Oh, come on, it's a good one too. They haven't caught me a small mouth in quite some time. Come on, buddy. Giving up. Where are you? Holy moly. Yes. 
freaking let's go boys let's go uh, I'm pretty sure that's an upgrade guys 19 inch big ol bronze smallie yes I'll give you a kiss thank you thank you No, the hits feel harder, but they're not staying on, so they're probably smaller fish. There's one. I don't think he'll upgrade, but. Not gonna help. He's 15 and not gonna help. There we go. I hope you're not a pike. Be a big one. Be a big one. Be a big one. Be an upgrade, please. It'll be close, I think. Not an upgrade. Right now we really need a 17 or bigger. I don't know about him, but... I don't think you guys saw him go airborne. Get out of the grass. Nope. Oops. Sorry, buddy. He ain't gonna help us. Is that reason right there? Oh guys, oh guys, I think I hooked a big pike. If it's a bass, this is the one we need. I think it's a pike, I just saw the tail. It's a pike. God dang it. Oh shh. Gonna break the freaking rod. Did you just wrap my prop? You just wrap my prop. He broke off. Is this another pike or is this a bass? Cause... Oh, there's a bass. He needs to get the heck out of the grass though. Oh guys, this could be an upgrade. He's 16 and a half. He was just short of 16 three quarters, so he's a half inch upgrade. Get 
out of the grass. I don't think he's big enough, but he's fighting sure like he is. Sixteen and does an upgrade. Wow. I saw that bite, but it hung on. It's a bass, he doesn't look very big though. Another one, that's not gonna help. What the heck happened there? Yeah, oh, you almost made it. Come on. Bait came to the surface. He ate it at the surface. Top water bite on the sinker. Fish in this area or floating through this area too fast, but holy moly. There's a big one. It's gotta be a big one. Oh, please be a bass. Please be a bass. Hands are slippery. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, guys, no. Get out of there. Get in the net. Get in the net. Oh guys, oh guys, oh guys, please tell me that thing's bigger. Oh man. 17 and a half or seven, I think he's 17 and three quarters. That's an upgrade. You ain't big, don't it? Another one. We just really need to upgrade. That 16 and a half needs to go. For sure. Um. not going to help us. That one about pulled the rod out of my hands. But it's not very big. Seriously? You did that? Of course I got a fish. Come on, be a bass. It's a bass, but... I don't think it's a size, but... Come on, be a bass. It's a bass, I just don't know how big it is yet. They don't look that big though. They're fighting harder than that. <sighs> 16 and three quarter. That should be a quarter inch upgrade according to what I 
got in the app right now, so. That looked like a big tail. Oh! Okay, well you better upgrade. Won't upgrade, he's the exact same size, so you're probably the same fish. I, don't know. I can honestly say, I don't remember the last time I caught that many big fish. And what I'm considering big, like 15, seriously? That many, like, um, that big of bass, the 19s, the 17s, the 8, seriously? I can't remember the last time I've caught, like, this many big bass. Come on, be a big and be like a freaking giant here. Really? And they're all sitting here in the same spot. I didn't even cast it over there yet. Getting hit again. Get around that stick. No! God dang it! We can't be breaking off. I haven't seen this one yet. It's a nice one. Ah, come on. Come back this way. Settle down, dude. Huh. Catching a lot of freaking fish. It's gotta be a pike. Big pike. Figures. What'd you do? Wrap yourself? Nope, you're still there. Did not need you. Hey you guys go. I ain't touching him, he's got a bunch of sores on him.
It's either a big another pike or it's a big bass. He's going right into the thick stuff. It's gotta be a pike. It looks like it's a bass. It's a bass, all right. God dang. Get in the net. Yes. You gotta tell me if you upgrade. Barely freaking hooked. Oh my god. Look at the size of that one, guys. Guys. That thing is a pig. A. Big. Fat. Bass. He's freaking heavy, but uh, he's 18 and 3 quarters. Thank you, buddy. Get going. Serious? I'm speechless, guys. I really am. Seriously? Oh my god. I don't think that one was an upgrade, but drag was too tight. I don't know what this is. No idea. It's gotta be a pike. It's gotta be a pike. It hasn't come up yet. Looked like it was a pike. No, it's a bass. Ah! My freaking right arm is exhausted another freaking fatty not an upgrade not an upgrade kept working further down but had a hard time finding more bites so i turned around and wanted to try and fish back through some of the prime areas while heading back to the launch Not the one I was looking for in there. <laughs> Not gonna help. Oh, really? Yeah. You ain't even that big. Uh, all right, oh, yeah. Just like that, too. Might as well head in. I think it's going to get worse.
But uh, tournament's over. And as you can hear by the wind, it's, you know, windier than crap. And the, this video won't do it justice, at least with the, at least with the flag, but we skipped that last spot. The waves are already kicking my butt. And the tournament launch is somewhere that way. Kind of watching where my tournament director goes here. That's a big one. Taking water over the front of the kayak. We will see what the results are. I did not upgrade any more fish after that 18 and three quarter. Last we were sitting, we had 92 inches even. That's probably my best tournament day. Uh, stay tuned for the results, guys. And hopefully I can make it in. All right, guys, let's wrap this video up with the results. We got it done and got second place. Uh, that's another awesome performance this year. Our second second place of the year. Definitely one of my best finishes I've had. Definitely one of the best tournaments I've ever had. In terms of size-wise, those were some awesome bass. And I think that would have been an awesome boat tournament if I was actually weighing them. But in terms of length for a tournament that's pretty good 92 inches even that's really really good i'm really happy with that pretty awesome to catch all those fish uh, especially as many as i did not all of them were huge but uh, i love catching bass and it was a great day that was probably one of the best days on the water i've ever had it was absolutely great to be out there it was really nice and cool so it didn't get too hot and we smoked them and we smoked them on the wacky rig a lot of guys don't like throwing it because it's that you can fish it too slow um, and you can have different difficulties with it but I think it's an underrated bait and I think you know it's one of my favorite baits and it's one of my confidence baits the bait that I have the most confidence in I tried throwing other stuff especially in a hot spot where I literally caught like two or three bass on back to back to back casts I tried throwing something else in there and they didn't want it. We did have a good payday with this one. Super stoked about this. Um, and that was our first kayak championship and we, we came out pretty good. Um, tried running down Adam, but once again, he's a, he's a dominant angler and uh, you know, we gave it our best shot. This is the last yakking and whacking of 2024. The last episode of the season. I think this is episode 16. That's going to do it for season one of yakking and whacking. And hopefully we'll be able to pick up the season next year with season two. If you guys are still watching, huge thank you uh, for watching this video. I know it's a really long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like. Um, if you guys really enjoyed the video, please comment and let me know what you think about the video. What do you think about my tournament season? Let me know what you think about any of my videos. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed this one um, or if you want to stay tuned for future content. Besides that, guys, I really don't have much else. Um, check out all of the videos from this year on my YouTube. Check out all the Yakin and Wacken tournament videos from this year in the Yakin and Wacken playlist, which I'll attach or uh, put up here in a link. It is fall now. It's deer season now. Haven't been out yet. Good luck to you if you're getting out in the woods, deer hunt or hunt in general. Good luck to you if you're getting out on the water to do some fall fishing. Um, hopefully going to do get a couple more trips in before it gets too cold. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. Get outdoors, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.